My name is Dr. Kayun Flannery, and I'm a breast surgeon and the co-director of the Janet Knowles Breast Cancer Center at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. I'm so happy to be able to participate on this panel. I can tell you exactly at what moment this happened. I was actually in kindergarten, and this was in Korea. Um, I was probably about five years old, and we had an event that day where we were supposed to grab toys off of the table and kind of, you know, do a play thing. And there was a table with a bunch of medical tools and a white coat and a stethoscope. And I still remember seeing that stethoscope running up to the table, grabbing the white coat to put it on and grabbing the stethoscope. And my teacher stopped me. She grabbed me from the back kind of and stopped and said, you know, those are for the boys and you may want to pick something else. And I was, like I said, maybe four or five years old and I still remember the level of anger I felt or confusion. Like why do those only, you know, matter to the boys and not me? So I came home and I remember telling my mom, I want to be a doctor. Um, and I probably said that because somebody told me you can't do it. Um, so that's really what started or fueled uh, my decision, you know, into going into medicine. I would say the decision to become a surgeon in general also came as naturally as the decision for me to devote my life into medicine. Um, I, in fact, uh, came into medical school uh, already having been married and I remember talking to my in-laws telling them that I would never go into a surgical field that it would take too long and I really wanted a family then I shadowed a surgeon and I had an opportunity very early on to go into the operating room with him and it was game over I mean it was like a dance with the routine in the OR you know being precise and and just having control of the situation and that was it. I had to come home, tell my husband that I was going to be a surgeon. Um, then the decision to subspecialize in the field of breast surgical oncology came really with this one particular patient. I was a general surgery resident um, and I was on, on, on call at nighttime and somebody came in that had a very advanced uh, breast cancer and this was so severely infected and she was really sick um, but I was able to talk to her and I found out that she knew that this was an issue for a very long time but ignored it uh, not because she didn't want to really take care of it but she told me that um, she had been estranged from her daughter for so many years and she did not want the first call to her daughter to be about a breast cancer diagnosis. So she covered it up and hid it for years until it was too late. And so that night is really the time when I, when I sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to become a breast surgeon so that no patients feel this level of discomfort or hopelessness and, and really helped everybody so that they wouldn't get to this level. And that's how I decided to become a breast surgeon. The most important aspect of my job every day is that my patients come first. And that's really why I chose to work at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. I really work with pa breast cancer patients every day and their family members. And it is really one of the worst points in their lives for the patients and their families. There are a lot of emotions um, every day at office hour visits, a lot of anger, there's a lot of frustration, a lot of questions that get at, you know, why me, why my wife, why, why my family member. And sometimes it's really hard for me as their physician to guide through, you know, guide them through this process and separate myself because I feel so empathetic towards them and their family members. You know, I, I have a lot of young patients that are my age. Patients sometimes come in with, you know, kids that are my kids' age, and it's very hard to separate that. But I have to, you know, I sometimes go home and tell my husband I had a really rough day. You know, I met somebody in their 30s who's trying to get pregnant and now she has breast cancer diagnosis. But ultimately, I have to check that all at the door because patients come first and that's why I'm here.
한국 여자로서 미국에서 이렇게 활동하는 사람으로 정말 자랑스럽고요. 여러분들도 정말 잘할 수 있도록 화이팅합니다. This amazing opportunity to participate on this panel as a young Korean American student not too long ago myself. I wish that I was, you know, afforded an opportunity like this. You know, some of the challenges that I went through, I feel like I had to do it alone. And that's really not true. You have a wealth of information, a wealth of resources in this community that are really coming together for you to help you. And it's not just myself, but other members of this panel. And, you know, that's just an incredible thing for our community. And again, I just want to, you know, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this amazing panel.